question stands, what do you do with a nine and a half hour drive when you are by yourself? So I decided that I would start making a video blog. I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, thought my life was a little too boring for that, but I don't think it really matters. So if for nothing else, it's for me because I have a really bad memory. So I'll be able to watch and just see what I've been able to do and where God has led me. And I know I don't have a minivan anymore, but don't you kind of feel like you're in the cash cab with me? I really kind of feel like that. Um, I don't I don't have any trivia, and if I did, you would get it right because I don't know much trivia at all, so you'd have to tell me if the answer was right. I thought I would kind of share what God has been doing and what kind of life like changes and decisions and transitions and stuff I have been going through. So. Yeah, so I kind of mentioned I was working at a bank full-time and also doing some management and trying to do singing and leading worship. So I decided to take a risk, quit my full-time job with benefits, and go for the music thing, which I always thought was kind of a ridiculous thing to do. I never really imagined that I would just be able to do that. So I'm really excited and blessed to be able to be pursuing this with the support of my family and friends even my co-workers, um, previous co-workers at the bank, and I did tell you that you can come to my concerts if I have them, <laughs> so when I have them. But um, yeah, so I quit the bank in June, and then I moved out of my apartment at the beginning of July, and then just been crazy on the move since then. I went to Life Fest in Wisconsin. Well, I went to, I went to Big Ticket Festival in Michigan, then I went to Life Fest in Wisconsin, got to stay with my family and kind of catch up with them, which is always wonderful to spend some more time. Um, and then after that, I went to Illinois and stayed with some great family friends who are such a blessing, letting me live there while I'm kind of traveling around and figuring out what I'm doing with my life and where God is taking me. So it's allowing me just to have a more open mind and open schedule instead of being tied down to at least. So I'm staying there. Um, went to Chicago yesterday, just hung out with some friends. And today I'm on my way to Nashville, where one of the bands that I manage, they are recording down there, so hopefully I get a few clips of that. And then um, the management company that I'm working for is in Nashville as well, so I'm hoping to run into some of those people. And then just hang out with my friends Brian and Anthony are supposed to be going there, so maybe do a little songwriting whatever opportunities God provides. My uncle actually knows somebody um, that's letting me stay at their house for free this whole time in Nashville, which just got figured out yesterday, last night. So the fact that I have a free place in my own bedroom that I'm going to be able to stay in Nashville is totally God. Yeah, stuff at the McDonald's to use the free Wi-Fi. And uh, there's only like one outlet apparently in this huge fancy McDonald's, which uh, meant I had to sit with somebody. So this older man let me sit by him, use the outlet, and so my new friend Lou is very generous. Booked that flight in about two minutes.
not sure exactly how that will be documented. Kind of weird, but I think I'll pass on that place. Can I just say it's times like these where cruise control would come in very handy and my foot and leg would not be hurting so bad. I've been in the car since, well, 11.15. I did stop for an hour. I made it! There's the finish line. Now I just have to look for the house. I made it! Woohoo!